I'm sure you've seen, uh, Dr. Sivan, the kind of response that's come, and even during Chandrayaan 2, there was so much talk of it, and I kept saying this, that I think what's united the country, like sports, is space now. Uh, and I'm sure it's inspired a lot of scientists. How do you think this movement has come about where the entire country now is glued to all of the space tech, all of the space reform that's coming into India? Yes, yes. It's, a, it, it's, a, it's a very good. I, I would say that the country is, uh, that it is they, they are not, they are, they are think, they are taking things very seriously. The scientific developments also, they are showing so much interest. Mm. So that way the country is transforming. Mm from that uh, only for looking for food, uh, only for enjoyment, from that that they are uh, looking for the scientific development, scientific advancements also they are, uh, they are uh, concentrating. Correct. That way this uh, country is now transforming mm. under that our Honorable P.F. Modi, I would say. What is the change you see, sir? I'm sure you get recognized a lot now, almost like a celebrity. I see a lot of people coming and asking you for selfies also. How has that change come about? The scientists have become as big as sports persons now, which is great. See, that is, uh, scientists, is, uh, basically that is uh, when something we are doing and uh, something is visible to the world and we are doing in uh, the touching the, the way especially that uh, the space activities in ISRO mm. is become famous is it's, it's, it's a very clear very nice vision what we had it is uh, the, the vision of the space activities in India mm. is basically with the aim of uh, that uh, that uh, helping mm. the common man mm for how to enable the space technology to provide the benefits for the common man. So, mm -hmm. this benefits should be in terms of that the safety, security and quality of life. So, it is directly linking to the common man. That way it has become, that is, the, the space activity is more... Mm -hmm. the, uh, people is, connect with it, I People think can connect and people can realize mm -hmm. directly this one. So all are, it is, I would say in India it's not only the space system or directly linked to uh, the, the, this uh, the common man. Mm. There are so many other systems are linked to common man's day-to-day -day life, mm. this one. And there also now that the government is taking so much effort to enhance so that it will come out very easily outside. So here we are, uh, the space activities, what we are seeing is it is coming out because of, it's a, it is, it is, it's come out outside this one. Correct. And there are, there are many areas, is a, it is not coming out that is easily out this one. Hmm. So that has to be come, come out, then things will happen. There's a lot of talk right now, sir, and a debate that's going on where some countries and some media seems to question why does a developing nation need to spend so much on space, needs to spend so much on science? What's your take on that, sir? Why is development and investment in science important in a country like India? See, suppose if we are seeing this, whatever the money spent for the space activities in India is very, very small compared to the other countries. Very true. So we need not worry too much on that. Mm. See, this is a very small percentage mm. when compared to other de developed countries they are spending on space activities. Mm. Mm. That way it is, it is not a question of that we are wasting money. It is a very meager amount only we are going. Very true. And with that meager amount we are doing something, uh, meeting that our uh, common man's requirements. Common man's requirements, don't you think that it is not, it's, it's, it's an essential part? Of course. Yes, we have to do it. And to meet the aspirations. We have to meet the aspirations of the people and we have to uh, the, uh, ensure the safety, security and quality life of the, every citizen of India. Mm. So for that, uh, the, this the spending the meager amount is not, should not be considered as uh, exorbitant. Okay. And uh, also that is the, the missions like this, mm. also it is, it, is, it is a natural uh, uh, that, uh, outcome of the natural progression. Hmm. of the our space activity and this is also going to give is a, a, a big uh, uh, the technology base to india hmm. we are one among the four countries with uh, three countries 
this one. Now we are the fourth country That's to right. land. So yes. this is a new technology. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that it's, it's required? I 100% think so. Required? I 100% think And also that is uh, this, uh, the science what it's going to do mm. in the southern polar region. Yes, uh, really it is going to do something, uh, new discovery it is going to create. Mm. And it, this data is not only for the uh, Indian scientists, it's for the global scientists. Very true. So India is really supporting the global community mm. of the scientists. Don't you think that it is the, this one? Very much. Now you tell me which one we have wasted money. No, not at all. So it is that, that statements are not correct. Whatever mm. they are telling is not correct. Mm. And this, this what we are doing is exactly correct and uh, we are doing perfectly mm. as planned. I'm glad you've given a response to them, sir, and I'm very sure that, you know, with this kind of a response that you've given, nobody will ever speak about how much is going in. In fact, I think we should be putting a lot more into what we're doing really in science and space. Uh, Dr. Sivan, coming back to Chandrayaan and the road ahead for ISRO, there's so much excitement now about the next few projects also that come in, Aditya L1, uh, about Gaganyaan and all of these projects. Uh, how does Chandrayaan 3 really aid in building up to the other projects, the other missions now? No, Chandrayaan 3, it is, uh, it is not having any link with uh, other uh, projects like mm. uh, Aditya L1 <coughs> or uh, Gaganyaan. But the success, whatever we achieved yesterday, it really gave a a yeah, yeah, yeah. high thrust to the our activity that even our honorable PM yesterday he said that uh, this should be your level. Mm -hmm. Now you have to build above that. Correct. So he has put a level for us. <laughs> so that way the, it, it is giving a stepping stone mm -hmm. or uh, fix a level for the next level of activity. That mm -hmm. way is uh, this one. But otherwise the, technically it's not they are different. Your, every project is different. Which project excites you the most, sir, in what's coming up now? Is it the Aditya project? Is it Gaganyan? Which is it? No, each project will be exciting on its, its own way. Hmm. This one. This, the, we the, none of the project is uh, useless or uh, <laughs> uh, the, this one, uh, not the exciting. Every project will be exciting. And, uh, you know, talking about the road ahead right now with all of these projects coming up uh, also, uh, there's a lot of talk about uh, also, you know, a manned mission to space, which is also Gaganyan, of course, and the Artemis mission playing a big role in that. How important is this tie-up between different space organizations, sir? How does it help us? How does it help NASA, ESA, and all of them? See, that is, uh, we have shown our uh, technical uh, provenance. Mm. Yesterday, yes, and uh, by having collaboration with uh, other countries, at least we are uh, talking equal in terms. Mm. Correct. Yes, we are also technically equal to you. Mm. That is the uh, one way. By doing this one, what will happen is this: uh, the, the collaborations with the countries, it will it will exchange the technology very freely. Mm. What a technology they, they have developed, it may be we they can give to us. We need not spend time to develop once again. Correct. And what our technology we have, we can give to them. Hmm. So like that, the exchange of this, uh, the, act, uh, the technologies will be coming in a big way because of the collaborations. Okay. And how um, soon do you see ISRO being a part of a manned mission? That is, we are working on that and very soon that uh, we are going to have that unmanned mission. That is, uh, without any human, we are first we are going to launch. Okay. Then only we will be launching with uh, humans. Hmm. So that is going to happen and uh, very soon. And uh, we will be seeing that things are happening, rolling in the normal way, normal speed. Hmm. And uh, finally, sir, as we wrap this up, is there any message you'd like to give all your fellow Indians? We're all so proud of you and what the ISRO has accomplished. But we also saw celebrations. Everyone's rooting for you now. So a message you'd like to give them? See, I would like to tell to my fellow Indians one thing. See, that such type of events like uh, Chandrayaan 3 yesterday. And uh, don't keep your uh, uh, eyes only open. Yes, you are seeing the thing and excited and don't leave it that. Please use your brain. What are the technological mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the development gone inside? Use your brain. Mm -hmm. And if you are using that brain, definitely it's not only the space, 
all the areas of this one if we are using your brain as well as the scientific temper we can develop new things which will flourish and which will make india as a globally number one leader hmm. in all the areas and this is on the hands of the youngsters this is what i would like to see so such type of that uh, missions it, it it should ignite your uh, uh, desire to do something new hmm. and and there is something to with the scientific temper so please inculcate that's what i would like to say and that's a great message so inspiring sir